Gali Parent School is a primary school. It started in 1995, founded by Mutezia Naturals. It was first located at Kisimenti opposite Hotel Shilando. In 2001, Kigali Parent shifted to its new building located in Chimirongo. Kigali Parents was fond of having students who kept passing highly and winning first positions countrywide, whereby in 2007, over five students from Kigali Parents won first positions countrywide. The Kigali Parents alumni are so grateful to the school since it set a good foundation for them. That school is a great foundation for anyone who wants to be successful. Uh, Kigali Parents School is a way and it is a channel to success. And I have a number of reasons to be thankful to Kigali Parents. The most obvious one, of course, is a great education background. I believe I, I attribute my success in high school and in middle school to the great education, the great support from teachers in primary school, and then two, um, the ethics, the morals, the, the morals they taught us, um, how how they push us to be confident, to express ourselves in debates, and to create an active class. I believe all those, th that foundation they, they lay in primary school has built us into what we are right now. The foundation is really done in the primary school and uh, this gives me a chance to say uh, uh, my the pride that I have uh, to have been at uh, Higari Parents School for my primary education uh, where uh, I got a very good foundation uh, uh, and uh, definitely uh, uh, the way we were brought up uh, also did contribute a lot to uh, our success uh, that we have right now. Yeah, that is where the, one of the schools where I had like the most experienced teachers. So I did receive a great education at Kigali Parents. And I also learned how to work hard and how to aim high. This school provided shaped me to be the person I am today, to a very high percentage. The discipline I got from Kigali parents is what keeps me up to date. The, the workplaces I've been to, the schools I've been to, I have tested the best of uh, education and uh, morals from a primary school I attended. I was in Chigai Parents from the year 1996, 2002. That's when I completed my PLE. What I want to say is that Chigai Parents has been a good foundation for us. It has helped us become better men. Uh, Kigali Parents School has been a good school to me. It has taught me uh, a lot of things. It has taught me to be a disciplined boy. Uh, it has taught me how to give respect, how to put all my things in order. And most especially, especially it has taught me uh, how to be, to have speed and accuracy in each everything I do. Work hard, read hard, and uh, one thing I learned from the parents is uh, to respect God. We studied, but we had teachers who always taught us to put God first in our repeats. Mr. Mutezihane Charles explains why he decided to set up the school. This school came into existence as a result of the problems that were in the country at that time. Uh, there are so many children or people who came from uh, English-speaking countries that had come back to their motherland. And by then, there were no schools in the place in Rwanda that could help them continue with their education. So we started with uh, a group of six teachers and a recruitment of just four pupils by then. I was personally a teacher and 
taking some classes in that school. At the same time, the principal, and to date, I'm still the one acting or the principal of the school. So, of course, there were so many challenges by then, because one, it was not easy also to get uh, teachers who could conduct lessons in English. That is one of the challenges that we started with. But we went on mobilizing some teachers since we had come from an English-speaking country called Uganda. We decided to continue trying to look around from good schools in Uganda, and that's how we were able to recruit enough staff. Because as time went on, parents were very interested in the school. Because among the uh, objectives that we started with was to begin by giving quality and affordable education from these children. So as indeed it was reviewed by the results since 1995, numbers kept on growing. So we received more children and the school continued to grow. As a result, we also recruited more teachers to boost the demand that was there by then. So as our vision was giving quality education, indeed it resulted from different academic years because our school since 1985 has been coming up with best students at national level to date. The reason as to why that has come up, of course, is the grass, from the grassroots, our vision, our mission was giving quality and affordable education to these children. More students studying from Kigali parents have dreams of becoming engineers and doctors. My dream is to, to be a doctor and, uh, and I think this school can be great and uh, go on go on be great. My dream is to become a, a doctor. My dream is to be a doctor. My dream is to become an engineer. I like this school and I like how how the teachers I like the teachers they help us in things we don't understand. In Kigali parents they teach us well. Uh, they protect us from bad things and from bad friends. I said that Kigali parents and uh, I like how they teach. Um, the teachers are very good. They they make us they make us really learn well and uh, they're very interesting. Gain the enough experience, we know what children need, we know how to help them, we know how to cater for them, and we know what they need. So we find that now the performance uh, is growing and uh, it is much better. What we are proud of is that our dream came true. Indeed, we saw our pupils succeed after primary. One, by appearing among the best students at national level in national exams for more than a decade. That's one. Two, after even the primary level or after secondary level, we've seen students becoming useful to themselves and to their country because some of them now have qualified as engineers, others doctors, accountants, and then service. And as per our school motto, seek knowledge and serve, we see them serving their country. All students that stay from Kigali Parents School are thankful to Mr. Mutezihana Charles, who started the school and has kept it running successfully. Uh, my gratitude uh, goes first to Principal Mutezihana Charles. He's really a nice guy I've ever seen. A nice head must have ever seen in my life is very good and I really appreciate for the work for the the the, the righteous the righteous he made of putting us straight of making us who we really are today. And I can't also forget our dear principal Mr. Mutazana Charles. You know he was he was always uh, trying to to make things run smoothly 
and he was following us. You know, he, wa he wanted uh, always the candidates to push and push until they pass. When I was still in primary, I used to think Mtazana was a very dangerous man. Because yeah. one, he had a very dangerous luck. But now, I see him as a parent and I see him as a guardian. Yeah. He's still the kind of person who wants to know what are you doing, how is your life, how have you succeeded, and he still comes as our counselor. Um, one of the teachers I would like to talk about is the principal of the school, um, Mr. Mutezian and Charles, who made sure that each and every student that did go at that school was given exactly as much attention and care and knowledge that would help uh, them succeed later in life. Um, he made sure that even that student who came to school not knowing what they were really there, or that student that knew why they were there and was really aiming high, that they did receive um, very great education. And anytime they were uh, relaxing or going backwards, they made sure that they would uh, upgrade us and teach us so that we don't stay behind. So I'm really grateful to all the teachers that taught me, those who taught me languages, those who taught me math, because that was the base of my upper secondary education and it really did help me a lot. So thank you to all the teachers at KPS. Okay, myself, in most cases I try to focus on discipline. Discipline is the key. So the moment a child is disciplined from down here, I expect him to be a wonderful, a disciplined citizen in future. Even as I'm seeing it now, these guys, when I meet them around, you can see they're organized. Even whatever they are doing, I'm very confident that they are delivering to the nation. And that one makes me so happy and proud for, I'm proud for that. I started teaching in Chikapari school right away on the first day. It's good really being with young children because it makes you happy when you come, you are dealing with them, when they bring you the jokes, you really feel happy. And has really kept me in high moods. To parents, normally it is. It's not a matter of paying school fees and you know that you are done. Yeah. As a parent, you need to follow your kid from morning, whenever the child goes to school, and when he comes back in the evening, at least you need to talk. How was school? How has the day ended? That's very important. Then to keep in touch. Parents should keep in touch with teachers. This helps a lot. Parents are more grateful to eat for the great skills that their children have attained from it. I have kids here in Chigane Parents. I chose this school because uh, they excel. They excel. All their kids pass in first grade. Even when a kid is slow, a slow learner, they take care of the kid, you know. They hold his or her hand. No one here is a, a, a loser. No one's a failure. Everyone here is a winner. Yeah. <laughs> of the standard disease. What's important is the, the mission that we had right away from the beginning, from the genesis of the school. That mission has been our driver to date. That's how we have managed to maintain the standards, because we are still the same people with the same mission. Of course, there are so many things that we do that maybe I can't go into, but among them is catering for individual differences of children, because these children have got different abilities. Some are smart, others are mediocre, others are slow learners. But our secret here is that we try to give the due assistance that is needed for those categories, meaning that we leave no stone unturned. We try to give the help to even the laziest or the weakest pupil to make him or her achieve his goal.
by giving say remedial teaching, we give them extra classes, uh, given the different methodologies that we apply, so that we make sure that even the weakest child is on board, and that indeed has helped us to. Uh, the advice I can give to the young children that are still at KPS is to make the most of it. Uh, KPS is not just a school where you go and learn uh, science and SST and Kinyarwanda and French, but um, it's a place where you go and you discover talents that you didn't know. You become a social person. You talk to different people from different places. Um, you exploit and learn so many things that you didn't know about yourself. So I, what I would advise everybody is to like really make the most of everything, be it in class, being outside, be it in the activities that they do, so that you don't miss any single part of your childhood. Advice I can give fellow Higari parents students is um, to make you the best use of what they have now. I, by that I mean um, if they, they have the best teachers they can get, they should make use of it, make use of that education, make use of that opportunity to, to excel as much as they can in their school. They have friends now, they should cherish those friendships, they're going to have those friends for a lifetime. Um, and to use that time with school in the best way they can, if it's in or out of class, if they're class monitors or class monitresses, if they're great uh, football players, anything they do right now is going to um, contribute to their future. So what they reap, what they sow right now is what they're going to reap six and seven years from where they are right now. And most of all, God is going to be with them and he's, they have him now and he's going to go through with them in every step of the way. So they should just give it their best shot and they know they'll get the results. Um, the advice that I'll give uh, to the yeah, this, uh, the other young uh, students, young people that learn and speak is uh, uh, to keep, to maintain the hard work, the commitment, and always feel proud and, uh, you know, uh, heed to the uh, teachers, the principal's advice, and, you know, they could uh, realize their dream someday. One thing I would tell them, never take things for granted. And you should always know everything happens for a reason. Don't think you're in Kigali parents by mistake. And you should know if you're in Kigali parents, you're at a greater height. Mm. Don't think there's someone greater than you, because you reap the best out of it. 2007 was one of my uh, greatest times in history. When the results came out, and I found myself the best in the whole country, you know, it gave me a lot of courage, and I felt like fulfilled because that is all I was yearning for. I wanted to get the best out of my education and you know when you do your best God does the rest and you know he gives you more than you, even you expect. So God gave me what actually I didn't expect. I expected to pass because that's what I was working for but God even added me something else. He, he granted me to be the best in the whole country in the year 2007. So I attribute that to my school, Kigali Parents School, and all the administration and uh, the teachers and support staff. Thank you so much for, for building my future and, and for making me what I am today. So thank you so much. The first background that I got is that Kigali, Par uh, Kigali Parents School uh, um, Gave, gave me this motivation, encourage, it gave me this encouragement of continuing to read hard in order to achieve well in school. And another thing, another achievement that I have reached out is that uh, I got a, a U.S. scholarship to study in the U.S. Um, and I will pursue electrical engineering. I will be um, in a in a college called University of Arkansas. That's where I will be pursuing my, my degree. And I really thank uh, Kigai Pence because it has really made me to, it has really made me who I am and it has really uh, uh, straightened me up so that I can reach this goal, uh, the goal that I wanted. Thank you. 
what is important is the, the mission that we had right away from the beginning, from the genesis of the school. That mission has been our driver to date. That's how we have managed to maintain the standards, because we are still the same people with the same mission. Of course, there are so many things that we do that maybe I can't go into, but among them is catering for individual differences of children, because these children have got different abilities. Some are smart, others are mediocre, others are slow learners. But our secret here is that we try to give the due assistance that is needed for those categories, meaning that we leave no stone unturned. We try to give the help to even the laziest or the weakest pupil to make him or her achieve his goal by giving, say, remedial teaching. We give them extra classes, uh, given the different methodologies that we apply so that we make sure that even the weakest child is on board. And that indeed has helped us to succeed. Yeah, and I also remember enjoying, to sing, um, enjoying seeing the school anthem at assemblies every Monday. Kigali, parents, school, the shining star of all Kigali. It was, it was a beautiful song and it was true. It, we were a shining star then and now I believe. And the people who took on the first positions countrywide in the previous years were Uwera Deborah, 1998-1999, Mutumwinga Pauline, 2001, Kunda Animi, 2001-2002, Guillermo Dixon 2002-2003, Songa Leonard 2003-2004, Muhire Aden 2005, Agatoni Sarah 2006, Mutinzi Eric 2009, Mujisha JC 2010, Mutoni Nancy 2011, Munitizi Ihigue Patient 2013. In 2007, over five students from Kigali parents won first positions countrywide. Their names being Shema Derek, Mutani Divine, Ishima Lilian, Ingaria Grace, Musime Yvonne. We have also acquired another piece of land just across where we are now, where we want to put up a secondary school. And this, by all means, will open its doors next year, that's 2015. So that will be another tremendous achievement of which we are really very, very proud of. So uh, if all goes well, we shall begin with Senior 1 and Senior 2 in 2015. So meaning, compared to where we came from, that's 1995, to today, actually we began with four students. Today we have over 2,026. That's a very enormous uh, achievement as far as we are concerned.